It's your boy Sonny D. You know, kicking the producer Rex on Rex and many more to come. We over here working, you know, just doing what we doing. Let's go. 20, just turned 20 in March, you know. I was trying to run a 19 year old thing, the, the team phenomenon producer for the longest, but you know, I had to, had to retire that. So, you know, anybody else can go grab the crown now. So, you know, I'm out of there. Uh, I was originally born in uh, Michigan, but I was raised down in Atlanta, but you know, um, you, know you can take me to Michigan, I'd fuck around and get lost up there. But you know, I still I still love Michigan though, you know, like it's a lot of talent up there. A lot of people from up there came down here and done some things, you know what I'm saying? So I salute Michigan still. It originally was Sunny Delight, you know what I'm saying? But it was kinda like, you know, like I ain't really like that. It was kinda fruit gaze and so we had to go back in, do some little switch arounds or whatever, and then like um, you know, we came up with digital, put it together, Sunny Digital, you know. That's how it came about. But like so far the year been going pretty good. I've been doing things I ain't never done before. So I mean, you know, I wouldn't I would never thought a lot of this shit would, would have happened. Like like I said, being on MTV, that shit's crazy. Being on fucking having a number one video on 106 in part. And I've been watching that since I was uh, I've been watching that since I was a child, you know what I'm saying? And my video getting played on MTV every day. Probably like a couple times in in, in one hour, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy, man. So yeah, it's crazy. But the only the crazy thing about it though, I only seen I only seen the video one time on TV. I don't watch TV like that. I only seen it one time on TV and the one time I did see it was number one on 106 in part. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it just feel, it feel good cuz you know like like I said coming up watching it though, you would never imagine yourself to to get the number one video, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't even imagine yourself getting number 10 video, really, you know what I'm saying? And to be number one is like, damn. Like anything else that done went major, you know, I had some, I had, at one point I had two songs on the Billboard chart. I had the Gorillaz I was going on, and then I had the Rex on um, YC. And so, I mean, I don't know if you want to call that major though, but, you know, I had, I had that on the Billboard charts too. The Titty Boy, um, Roscoe Dash, Wale, um, and I did a track for Zoe and Gucci, um, Yo Gotti, Plies. You know, like it's every day, like a lot of people say, that I, I sound like Lex Luger, I, we like got kind of like the same when I started, sound. the person the person who I used to listen to a lot was Charlie Red, he had them like real gory, dark trap beats and shit, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why I, that's why I looked up to him, so like I was building up to make beats like that, you know what I'm saying? At least four or five of us making that same type of sound, you know what I'm saying? Cause we all kind of came up on the same route, you know what I'm saying? All five of us couldn't blow up at the same time, you know what I'm saying? One of us was gonna take off first, and just so happened that was Lex Luger. You know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna make it worse for the next nigga to come out. Cause like, like if it's Lex Luger first, they gonna take and say that's his sound, you know what I'm saying? But then like, if I come right behind with some similar, you know what I'm saying? They gonna try to say I'm copying Lex though. Yeah, it is what it is though. Like, I fuck with Lex, Lex fuck with me. So, you know, I salute him. Shit, I've been really thinking like, um, cause everybody, a lot of people been asking me that, but I, I think I came to, I think I want to make some beats for um for Kanye West. Like I try that out, you know what I'm saying? Just see how the sound come about, and, you know, cause I make I make all different kind of beats too, so you know, I know I can fit something to fit this style, and if I can't, I know it'll just expand my mind to make some that he'll like though. Then um, who else? Um, if I could, I would work with Justin Bieber though, real shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, I ain't gonna lie, that's really for the check though. You know what I'm saying? Cause that check gonna be retarded. You know what I'm saying? If I could work with him, I would though. So I know I know I can get some shit to him like the hell like, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all everything take time, you know what I'm saying? If shit happen overnight, the shit gonna come back crashing down like the same day or the next day or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So you be patient, take your time, man. Shit gonna come like this shit gonna come like man, I ain't gonna lie. Yesterday was the, the day where I got my first Biggest check I've ever seen in my life, man. It's been it's been a long time, you know what I'm saying? Rex been out for a while too, but yesterday was the first time where I seen a big ass check that belonged to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I just being patient, you know what I'm saying, doing what I had to do to keep some money in my pocket though in between. But you know, just like I said, just be patient, your time gonna come and just stay down and be humble. Hey, it's your boy Sonny D over here kicking it with prestige film works, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all, man.